All right, let's continue Yakuza. I'm trying to think what I was up to. I know we're in control of this guy now. Okay, um, let's see. No, not that, that. Oh yeah, the information dealer, okay. Here, yeah, kitty kitty, we got some fish for you. Want some beer? Huh, darn things just won't warm up, warm up to me. Oh, you guys aren't seeing cats eye to eye with them. Watch and learn. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. That's odd. My old cat Miku would always come right up to me when I did that. If they won't let us touch them, we can't check their injuries and we can't fix them up. Hmm. Huh, what are you looking at? Hey, take it easy, fellas. Say, pal, are you a cat lover? Cats, huh? You are? That's great. Can you do something about these cats? Ooh, whoa there, I didn't say I was a cat lover. That's okay, anyway, we just found these little guys, but unfortunately they're not letting any of us touch them. Y yeah, but... They look like they're hurt. We only want to patch them up if we can. It must be fate you showing up like this. Could you try taming these little fellas? Yeah, please. If we don't act fast, they'll get weaker and weaker. You're our only hope. And theirs. You want me to tame a bunch of cats, huh? <laughs> Alright, why the hell not? Guess I'll see what I can do. Great, we're counting on you. Is this is this a mini game? Little fella's really giving me what for. Now what should I do? <laughs> Meow like a kitten, didn't work. Bark like a puppy, cry like a girl. Maybe these little kitties will open up to me if I act like a sweet little crying girl. Ugh. Nah, fuck it. Let me try again. <laughs> Meow like a kitten. What the fuck is this? Probably ought to try speaking their own language. Mm. Meow. Seems like it finally dropped its guard. Wow, you're good. Poor things wouldn't even give me the time of day. They don't look. Oh, they don't look like they're doing too good. We gotta get some nutrition into these little guys. Bah! A drink would patch them. A right up. I hate to ask, but could you buy these kittens something you think they'd like? Suppose I can't back out now. I'll get them something real nutritious, like. Fuck, I don't know. Wait here. You gotta offer lost cats some milk. I'll go pick some up. Yeah, give them some energy drink. That, that'll that perk them right up. You're getting in the way standing like that. You won't believe this. I found a thousand yen on the ground in the underground mall. A whole thousand. Wow, that's damn near a fortune. I know, right? But then suddenly, when I wasn't looking... This little shit came up and took the money. You lost your cash taking a shit? No, I mean a pint-sized pickpocket at the underground mall. There I was, freaking out about what I'd do if anyone tried to mug me, when a child ran up and snatched it away. You're fast, right? Then go on, catch the thief for me. Catch him and teach him a lesson. <sighs> Gotta say, the only lesson that needs learning here is for you to hold on to your shit better. Let it go. Wow, that's just cold. I hope he goes after you next. The little kid's picking pockets in the underground mall. Sounds like a shitstorm waiting to happen. Oh well. Hmm. 
Hmm, a homeless guy. Maybe I could ask him about the info dealer. Excuse me, I was wondering if I could ask you something. Oh, yeah. Hey. You. Oh, wait, you come over, what? You come over here. What happened? We'll talk later, just follow me. Hold your horses, man. Where the hell are you headed in such a hurry? It's the master. He's gonna die if we don't do something. The master? Yeah. He's a famous old man around these parts. Been digging a hole in the sewers for ages now. But enough chit-chat. We gotta hurry. The manhole? You sure about this? It's the fastest way, just follow me. Easier said than done, old man. How am I supposed to get through a manhole? I got a special tool for opening manhole covers, but you're bigger than a buffalo, so you probably don't even need it. Anyways, we ought to hurry. Come on. Over there. Enough ball, old man. It's time you told us the truth. We don't like getting rough with frail geezers, so do us a favor and start talking. I can't let you go any further. All these years of hard work would have been for nothing. We know you're hiding tons of buried treasure back there. That's why you've been digging like this since the Stone Age. There ain't no buried treasure. Now get the hell out of here. It's no fair if you hog all that money to yourself. Share the loot, why don't you, Grandpa? Come on. This is taking too long. If you're, gonna, if you're not going to move, then we'll just have to move you. Oh no, they're going to kill the Master. You look like a pretty strong guy. Please get rid of those hooligans and save the Master. I'll talk to him. Really? Thank you, kind sir. Listen, Gramps. Tell us what we want to know, or it ain't the retirement home you're headed for. Got it? Wait right there. You kids having fun picking on senior citizens? Ain't you supposed to be caring for the elderly? Who the fuck are you, huh? One of this guy's homeless friends? Don't matter. Just let this whole thing go and get lost. So you're after the loot, too? You think we don't know what's up? <sighs> Give me a break already. Kids these days don't know when to listen. Enough talk. We're gonna float both of your geriatric corpses down the fucking sewer. I love how the old man's just clapping like, yeah. Never get that right. Who the hell is this guy? Some sort of monster or something? Damn it. This ain't the last you heard of us, old man. Street punks and their cowardly lines never change. You saved my life, thank you. Thank this guy, not me. He's the one that was doing all the worrying. Master, you okay? Did they hurt you? Uh. 
Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm all right. Thank goodness. I was scared out of my mind. I owe you, sir. You really are something. By the way, what was your name again? Sajima. You. People call me Kenchan, and this here is the master. I didn't come up with that nickname, but call me whatever you want. So, why were them punks after you anyways? Been down here looking for a certain something. Something important. But then those hoodlums showed up spouting nonsense about buried treasure and the like. Something important? Yeah, I ain't even sure what it is exactly. My father only told me about it on his deathbed. Said he buried something important beneath the streets of Kamurocho. I see. He told me the general location, but we got more sores and newfangled underground moles cropping up every day. Makes things harder to find. So you mean whatever it is... <laughs> whatever he buried... It, oh my god. So you mean were da, da, da. So you mean he buried whatever it is before all this was built. Jesus Christ. It's getting late. Exactly, I reckon during the war. Wow, that's a long time ago. How many years you've been digging? Well, I heard from my father about it when I was 50, so I reckon maybe 25 years, give or take a few. 25 years? Master, this guy is pretty strong. How about asking help, asking him to help you dig? And why would I do that? You've been saying your back hurts, right? And you're not getting any younger. Ah, oh, shut your trap. I still got it in me. You don't have to be so hard-headed. Saijima will help you. Please. You've really been digging this hole for 25 years? Pretty much. Hmm. I see. Well, I'll help whenever I've got the time. Seriously, kid? You ain't even involved. Might not be anything in it for you either. Consider it karma. Plus, I haven't had a good workout since coming to Kamarocho. Don't worry about it. Perfect. You just might find what you're looking for before you pass on, master. Will you quit talking about me dying already? Jeez. Sight, Jamal, was it? I may talk a lot, but I can't stop the years from piling on. Honestly, this old man would be really happy if you lent a hand, even if it's only for a little while. Got it. I'll come back and help when I can. Thank you, son. I'm in your debt. Ain't much of a reward, but... Do you know about Revelations? Revelations? Yep, revelations allow you to learn new techniques by observing various events around town. Might just be able to discover something new if you capture those decisive moments in material form. But I don't have a camera. Never been much good with machines anyway. Same here, couldn't afford it either. That's why I use these babies. A uh, hammer and chisel? I'll give you some good carving wood too. You use that hammer there, and chisel to carve the events you see. Ask Ken Chan about what's going on above ground, he may have some good information. I think I get it. I'll give it a try. <laughs> really? Wood carving? Alright. Well, looks like I've settled things here. Time to investigate that legendary info dealer. Wonder if any of the homeless know something. What's this digging thing, though? Hey, Sajima-san, I know you're, why you're here. You want to know about Revelations, right? I was just walking around the Kamurocho Central parking lot and heard some kids saying something about a professional killer in the area. Might be something worth investigating. Why don't you go take a look? Parking lot, I know where that is. So what is this shit? Is this another minigame? Thanks for coming, Sir Jama. Here to help out? I owe you. Oh, I owe you, alright. 
Let's pick a place to start digging. The sewer path, is it? It's set to go, then. You're gonna need to use the pickaxe to whack your way through the rock there. I think I had a big old one lying around here somewhere. Should be the perfect size for you. If you want to make this into a real workout, how about trying to finish in one minute? Charge a swing before swinging the pickaxe to crush the rock in the face in a single blow. If you'd rather take your time though, be my guest. You ready? Ready. Alright then, let's get started. What the fuck is this? Oh. This is like a Street Fighter minigame. Where you bash the fuck out of a car, only now it's a wall. God. How many layers? I might not make this. There we go. Alright. I mean, it gives you level up, so I guess it's worth. I can't believe a place like this existed on the Kamarocho. What is it? It's so big. I think it's an air raid shelter. Air raid shelter? Yeah, used during the war, I reckon. I'm sure it's got a good deal of historical value too, being in such good shape and all. Is that certain something of your old man's down here? Nah, should be a tad deeper, according to what he said. Huh? Hey, look at that. What now? A sign. It says this place is called Air Raid Shelter Number One. Oh, and just below this wrong voice, it doesn't matter. And just beyond these rocks here is Air Raid Shelter Number Two. Well, we ain't got no other clues to go on. Let's just try digging here. Mm hmm? There's something on the ground. It looks like a book on the art of war. It's full of different fighting techniques. Hold on. This is some incredible stuff. I bet I could use this move here. Looks like you got your reward after all. Wish I could pay you properly though. You know, with money and all. Nah. Don't need money. I found something just as good. Better even. Plus I got a pretty good workout. Thanks, old man. Okay, I mean I guess this is worth doing if we're learning moves. There's a trick to breaking these rocks, so I'll be the one doing the digging this time. But we might run into falling rocks from the impact of breaking these. I need you to hit these before they hit us. These rocks are brittle enough for you to shatter with your bare fists, so whack them good and we'll survive. I can't take too many hits from them rocks and you'll be putting yourself in harm's way too, so make sure you're ready to go before digging. Okay. Interesting. Mid-air punching. Oh. Oh, I see. Wow. 
Why can't I, I guess he can't defend the rocks. No, but see, we can do this. Yeah, I mean, I guess use this one. Maybe stand a bit more forward. Oh, no! <laughs> I mean, he's got quite a bit of health. More than me. Damn it. Keep going. Old man. He got through. Okay. <laughs> Victory! Hmm. <laughs> a dead end. Hmm. Guess this ain't the place. So you're saying it was wrong? When you think about it, the sign that was lying on the ground, I bet it used to be somewhere else. I get it. So we gotta look for the place it used to be originally. Bingo. Hold on. Hey, Sajima, look. Another book. Another one? Let's see. This one's about martial arts, too. This technique will come in handy. Two in a right, that's funny. Could be some sort of clue. If we find more, it might mean there's some kind of link to that thing your old- Oh, if we find more, it might mean there's some kind of link to that thing your old man left behind. Yeah, I reckon. Wait a second. Could that hole be? I knew it. The sign was set here. So breaking this rock open will, uh, will open up the path to air raid shelter number two then. Then it's settled. We try digging here next. Oh, when you got the time, of course. No sweat. I'm just glad I got my hands on this book. Yeah, this is worth doing. You'll be digging air raid shelter number one south. We're set to go then. I'll be the one doing the digging again. You watch my back for me. You'll be putting yourself in harm's way, so make sure you're ready to go. Yes. This one could potentially be more difficult. Uh. Hey, Grandpa, find that buried treasure yet? <laughs> Again? Leave me alone, you bunch of hooligan riffraff. Look, he's still with that guy from the other day. Talk about lucky. I brought some friends with me this time. How about we have a little party? An eye for an eye, that's just common sense, ain't I right? Couldn't think of a better time to arrive. You literally dug your own graves. Uh, I was so close too. You just keep digging. What? These punks got no right to crush your dreams. You just keep digging. But 
I can take out the trash on my own. I got your back, so just keep swinging that pickaxe. All right, I'll leave it to you. No problem. The hell you two are bickering about? This is a fucking sitcom or something? Finish saying your prayers? Cause we're gonna kill your kinds of dead. Okay, no, this is fine. Easier protection. Oh, no. Okay, no, they keep coming back for more. Hey, if I'm learning moves from this, it's, it's worth it. Even though the quest is a little dumb, but... <laughs> I like this new move. <laughs> Holy shit. Man, do you want to hurry up? Hey! is so good. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, we broke through the rock. That's the way, old man. Look, the path keeps going. Son of a bitch, how'd we lose with our numbers? You can't win if all you're doing is thinking about the numbers. Get the hell out of here and leave the old man alone. Let him live out his dreams, you punks. I'll stop here for today, but you better believe we'll be back for our money. Who the hell came up with that conflabbit rumor about there being money down here anyway? Well, I mean, it does kinda have that buried treasure look, don't you think? Huh? Look, another book. Another fighting manual? Looks like it, just like the others. This one's filled with different practical techniques. Finding this many books gets me thinking we might just stumble across the actual person that buried all of them. Yeah, old man, a collector of these kind of books? Yeah. No, my father is a born and bred soldier, a fearless man who proudly fought for his country. I see. Then I guess these books wouldn't belong to him. In either case, I can't afford to pass these up. Hope you don't mind if I take them. Ooh. Let's start digging the next pathway. Come back whenever you can. I'll see you at the entrance. I'm injured. I require energy drink. Okay. Old access tunnel. So you want to dig in the old access tunnel? As usual, you got to use the pickaxe. 
but not even my old reliable could put a dent in those rocks. We'll have to find a stronger pickaxe somewhere else. A stronger pickaxe? Where, where can I get one? I actually read how to make one in a book ten years back. How was it made again? Well, what I can give you is this strong looking metal I found the other day digging. Maybe you can do something with it. Block a super alloy. I bet I could make one if I fit it with some kind of rod looking thing for a handle. You might find a chunk of wood lying around somewhere. But then you'll have to connect the two. I remember hearing about some kind of weapon shop in Kamurocho that'll make things for you as long as you have the materials. Oh. Okay. Chunk of wood, what the fuck? Hey, Gammy, how's it going? I'm doing alright, just kicking back. Sunday. Wait. Oh, this is... I don't think I've been here. Hey there, buddy. Not too often I see guys like you down in a place like this. Let me guess, you're concerned about the slow deterioration of our natural environment, so you've come to help me, the expert on all things grassy and green? Uh, actually I... Relax, big guy. I won't bite, but I will drop a big old knowledge bomb on you. You know how much trash gets collected in Kamurocho in a year? 22,000 tons, 60 tons every single day. That's just as much as two humpback whales every day. And that doesn't include the litter strewn around town that nobody bothers to pick up, which, trust me, is a lot. So, I've devoted my life to making the city as clean as possible. Yes. And... Hmm? What's any of this got to do with me? Oh, right. Around here, they call me the Mean Green Machine. No matter how high that trash stacks, I'll always be there to whisk it away. Speaking of, trash has some kind of special value down here in the underground. What do you mean, value? You heard me. Down here, trash makes the world go around. Ditch your cash, bring me some trash. I'll appraise whatever bits of trash you give me and give you the appropriate number of points. Points are like our money, mind you. Here, take this. Eco points. With points, you can buy all sorts of stuff. Items, food, equipment. Though, of course, this only applies to the shops we run down in the sewers. Oh, and keep this in mind. Any trash you've got is worthless until I get my hands on it. Don't worry, I won't rip you off or nothing. One more thing. Just because you nab a piece of trash, that doesn't mean it's gone forever. Someone's bound to litter again in the same spot if you wait long enough. Anyway, why don't you start with that little speck of smut over there? Just bring it over to me. So that's why I was picking up trash. Twenty-five point. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Green store. What has he got? Oh. Gunpowder, flak verse, cold pack, mystery liquid. A large blow up doll. Okay. Fair enough. Lots of all the police today. Are they on a manhunt? Uh. So there's this Yakuza tough named Mirakawa, right? He and his pals controlled the theater underground. They were all up to all kinds of shady business down there. That is until a couple days ago. This guy named Akiyama just strolls in and kicks him out. He didn't look like much, but he gave Mirakawa's keys to the boot before any of these hooligans saw it coming. Goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, and not all hero wears capes. You're searching for the city's biggest info dealer. The florist, right? If that's his name. That's what his clients called him anyway. It's because he the info he sells gets delivered inside flower bouquets. Sounds real romantic. So how's a guy meet this florist? The thing is, no one really knows. 
like what with all the crazy stuff that's happened around here the past few years. Seems like every time a major crisis hits the city, he uproots his headquarters and relocates. Any idea where he's planted himself now? Don't know for sure, but there is a rumor going around. I'm listening. I heard you can get to his hideout through the back of the public restroom at West Park. You mean the John at the end of town? That's the one. I'd start at West Park if I were you. Alright, thanks. So he hasn't moved, he's still at Purgatory. Oh, oh no. Okay. Wait, what was that? There was an interact button, I saw it. Am I really gonna pick up trash just to get these eco points? Soft garbage. I, I, I don't like... <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. I mean, it's cool. It's a new area, so... Kind of like return and earn? What's return and earn? I don't think we have that in Victoria. I could also get out from here, but I should go out from where I came in. What? Why does it- why does it matter? It's machine set up in New South Wales where you can put cans in and it gives you money. Yeah, I don't think we have that here. At least not to my knowledge. I know- I think it's specific to South Australia and New South Wales, that program. It's like you get how many cents per can? I can't remember. It usually says on the can. I have a can right now and I can't see it anywhere. Oh, there it is. 10 cents. Okay, it now says participating. States or territories. Interesting. It used to say specifically. Okay, so what the fuck? Had the, but <laughs> What's the entrance I came in through? This old dude brought me here. Hey man, looking for something to eat? It's not as nice as the stuff you might get above, but it's better than nothing. Dude, dumpling soup sounds delicious. This, except, except for mystery meat, let's just <laughs> wait. Let's just say it's animal protein. Oh, hmm. A ton of stuff tossed in a pot and stewed sounds sketchy. Leftovers. Okay. The, the, the issue with this is it takes up inventory space. That's the problem here. So I have to get this stuff redeemed right away. If it had a separate inventory, this wouldn't be an issue, but there are very, very limited inventory slots. And I need them for potions. The magical energy drink potions. <laughs> Modern day potions.
West Park's crapper still ought to be to the northeast. Um, yeah, cool. Oh, there we go, finally. He actually has some side quests. Alright, we'll go do some. He hasn't had anything so far, so... Cool. People thought that this is how Japan is. People might be afraid to go to Japan thinking that, like, every third asshole tries to get into a fight with you. Well, it's, it's, it's the opposite from what I've heard. Like, everyone is super polite. Shit, I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh man, I could go for a hot dog. Like a good one, not Oi. not getting uh supermarket hot dogs, but like one that has crazy fixings on it. The fuck? I knew you were a lost cause. I'm talking about call that cash here. I've got no use for you without it. The hell do you think you're doing? It don't take a genius to figure out you two as Yakuza. Huh? Keep moving, asshole. It's none of your damn business. It is now. You got dozens of eyes on you and none of them want to see you mess this guy up. I appreciate what you're trying to do, sir, but stay out of this, please. It really has nothing to do with you. I deserve everything that's coming to me. This guy can't be serious. I'm sorry, Katagiri san I'll get the money as soon as I can. Please, have mercy on me, sir. Ah, way to go and take all the fun out of this. Listen, Eri, you still owe us half a mil in tribute. If you don't pay it up quick... You're gonna be paying with your pinky. Got that? Eerie, hon, is it? What was that all about? Who are you? Don't matter. Just the next Yakuza looking out for one with his own. Ah, you must have been pretty famous if you don't want me knowing your name. Look, just forget it, yeah? Now, tell me, what was that punk beating up on you for? Actually, it's kind of embarrassing. You see, katagiri son and I belong to a family with an office down Tenkaichi Alley. I asked for more time to come up with unpaid family tributes, but it seems to have rubbed him the wrong way. Katagiri, huh? Clearly you got a few years on him, not to mention boatloads more class. How'd a guy like that end up being your boss? I am older, yes, and have spent at least a decade longer in the family, but katagiri son is the Patriarch's wonder boy. Him? You don't say. It's not surprising, katagiri son rakes in, by far, the most cash for the family. <laughs> it's like Chase and Yen is all Yakuza can think about nowadays. Welcome to the 21st century, friend. Organized crime is nothing more than a chess game with money as the ultimate prize. <laughs> Old school fist hurlers like me don't have a place in that intellectual stuff. More and more, we're just weighing down our families. I don't believe that for a second. Why don't you just smack that sack around a bit? He'll change his tune. Not a chance. 
kind of Geary son has helped my family grow exponentially. And besides, he's my superior. Regardless of how he got there, there's no fighting that. Guess I can't argue with you there. Sorry for butting into your family business. It's alright, and I really do appreciate the concern. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go drum up some cash. Quick. Money, money, money. This world's even colder than I remember. Hmm. Okay, this is what I don't understand. Like, clearly the brackets means he's thinking, but he's moving his mouth. Here he said his family office is down Tenkaichi Alley, right? Might be worth paying him a visit. Or maybe I'm misinterpreting it. I don't know. Maybe he's talking to himself. Metal garbage? Whoa! Glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> okay, at least they're not synchronized. Like, they do appear to be doing unique things. Nope. Uh, oh, nope. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. The hive mind is here. Okay, no. Yeah. Anyway. That's mildly amusing. I haven't seen something like that happen. Oi. Nope. Fuck you. Um, am I heading in the right direction? Pretty sure I am. That's Park Boulevard, Taihei, Pink Street, Nakaichi Alley. Oh, Tenkaichi Street's there. Whoops. Alright. It's fine. What are they looking at? Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The parking lot. Something's supposed to be happening, and then I'm, I'm gonna make a wood sculpture? Question mark. <laughs> wait, what? Have you heard about this married couple around here that are experts at Kung Fu? I wonder what the fights are like. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Wait, am I about to see this shit again? It's <laughs> this thing again. <laughs> This guy just doesn't learn. <laughs> so stupid. See, that's how you make a proper karate sound. <laughs> what the fuck? Really? He can't use a camera, but he can do that in an instant? Come on, he can learn to use a camera.
Hey, I'll I'll take it. The essence of smashing. <laughs> My character learned how to smash. Great. Okay, so it said this car park. Hmm. Who said, oh, this is Shichifuku. But, uh, I mean, we'll go to every car park and we'll see. Something about kids said that there was a dude. I wonder if the one on the rooftop is still there. I mean, you would assume so. Oi. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Leave me alone! Wait, what's this? There was an old man in that convenience store, drunk off his ass. He even had a tie around his neck. Definitely- Oh, heads. Definitely something you don't see every day. What did I say? In that convenience store. Okay. Hang on. It brings up the prompt. There. What is this? ねえ、ええやんか。ちょっとやめて。そんなこと言わんと付き合ってよ。話して。その手を話しなさい。はあ女性が目隠しているではないかい。うん。そうそうで。あっさりなさい。何やと Good good drunk voice. Good kick. This is so stupid. He's just carrying these logs just in case. Hey, as long as it comes out to, like, learning a move or something, it's great. Close lining. I'm, I'm A-OK -okay with this. This is fun.
We gotta see the car park one. I might go to the roof and check if that the first couple of ones were there. Okay, this is a car park, let's see. It's usually pretty obvious. Okay, if it was here, I, I would have seen it already, I think. Sorry. Oh shit, the police can't go near him. What the fuck is that? That other car park I'm thinking of. There's another car park, but I don't remember where it is. You know, alright, let's just go to the roof. Maybe I'll see... It's usually pretty obvious. Oh, that was short. Oh, no. It's, I thought it was a quest. I am on the correct street for that side quest I took. I want to see some of these new moves I've learnt. Yeah. Fucking Rhino. <laughs> Just throws them around like they're dolls. Who's left? Oh, you are. Really? What do you- what do you mean that didn't work? <laughs> How did he- 
How can you block a bicycle? That should not be allowed. Uh, we are on Nakamichi. Tenkaichi is the next one. Okay. Oh, here we go. A second ago, I saw a guy stuffed in a barrel with concrete. Pretty sure it was Yakuza. They put him in a car and drove towards the dock. It's got to be nearby. See, I don't see anything that fits that description. Hmm. It's usually in the immediate vicinity. I thought it might have been a cut. Oh. Nah, it's just talking. Oi. Go away. Oi. What could possibly fit that description nearby? Oh wait, they're, they're bystanders, whoops. I mean, I don't know if I should be looking for a car or... go down the alley. Hmm. I want to see this. Nothing's really fitting the description. Fuck. Oh, that's just annoying. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure where this is. I'm 
put him in the car and took him to the docks, but we're not really... I mean, unless that's later. What if we can go to the docks? Let's see. Oh, you can. No shit. Okay. <laughs> Guess that explains it. Oh my god. They weren't kidding. <laughs> what is this gonna be? Fucking concrete barrel, what did you expect? So stupid. So he died anyway. Thinking I can pick up a motorcycle now. <laughs> That's the epiphany. Okay, so the dude did die. Yep. Not now. Okay, no, I'm just- Oh, is that so? Let me give you this. Copy of Fish Champ. By the way, if you don't have any bait, I'll sell you some. Okay. Nah, I'm good. How to put an end to it all. Hey, what's with all the doom and gloom? Please, just leave me alone. I'll be killed soon enough anyway. You don't look like a guy who lives dangerously, but I ain't one to judge a tiger by its stripes. What's eating her? I appreciate your concern. You see, I work at a jewelry shop where I used to until I got robbed the other day. These hardcore dudes came in, pointed their guns at me and said, Hand over the jewels if you want to live. Of course I wanted to live, so I handed over the jewels. Did I ever? I opened all the display cases. Then my manager goes ballistic, so now he runs over, sticks a knife to my throat, and guess what he says? Get back the jewels if you want to live. I'm pretty sure the shop was just a front for the Yakuza. I saw murder in my manager's eyes, I can tell you that. So I filed a police report and even did some investigating on my own. I found... Out, the getaway car was seen heading for these docks, but nobody's seen anything, and now I'm stuck on a wild goose chase. Even if I did find the guys, they'd probably just kill me on on the spot. It's too depressing to even think about. That's why I figure I should get it over with and die on my own terms. Poor guy, getting caught up in a bunch of Yakuza bullshit. Listen, buddy. If you're capable of offing yourself, I'd say you're capable of damn near everything. Anything. Instead of giving up on the ghost, try digging in your heels. Even if you can't do much on your own, you ought to be able to hire a private eye or something. You know what? You're right. I guess I've been feeling guilty about not putting up a fight. But I think I'll keep at it and try to find those jewels. Once I stop feeling so depressed, that is. Alright, good luck to you. He's got balls for a civvy. So there's a jewel thief on the run around here. Well, to see what I can find. Wait, that dude wasn't there before. No. 
huh? Yeah, more or less. Ah, well, if you want to reel it, you should try a different spot. Why is that? I do my share of fishing here, but they aren't biting like they used to. I've wound up reeling in more random junk than fish. There's a betting fishing spot a little ways away. I'd be happy to show you where. Nah, I'm good. Water catch plenty for one fella. How about you? Why are you fishing here if it's so crappy? Truth be told, I'm not really in it for the fish. I just like the view. It's the journey that matters to me, not the destination. That's so. Then I guess the two of us anglers can suck it up and enjoy the ride. Oh, uh, yep. You got that right. Weird. Uh, stay here. That's polite, he waited. There doesn't appear to be anything else here. Examine. Oh no. Maybe any other hints? The robbers brought the jeweler jewels to the docks, but where from there, it's anyone's guess. Okay. The only thing I can think of is like maybe it's uh something you spot out. I don't see anything you can interact with. Hmm. <laughs> Sights from this dude on the ground. Maybe they have some info now? No, okay. Yeah, I don't know. You would think it'd be something obvious. trying to look under stuff and maybe it's something you pick up, I don't know. not obvious. Maybe it could be a thing where I, if I return... For now, that'll do. Okay, cool. More knowledge. And then... The guy said his... Office was in Tenkaichi Street. So we're here. Oi. Oh, give away. Oi. Is 
Is he still here? Oh, he walked back. All right. Need leave me alone. I don't see this dude's family office anywhere. Does this continue? That's theater square. Uh, let's see what it says. Tenkaichi Alley. Oh. My bad. That one. Okay. was another event or something. It's just someone on the phone. Hey. You idiots know I'm Yakuza, right? Mess with me and things are gonna get real ugly real fast. What, you think you're hot shit just because you're Yakuza? Those suits have been losing their muscle for years. You're not tough. You're just a rat. Now empty your pockets. <laughs> Don't hurt me, please. Ain't that the guy who was beating the crap out of Irihan? I think his name was Katagiri. Please, I'll play whatever price you're asking. Don't hurt me. If you don't want to meet these fists, you know what you gotta do. Hand over your fucking wallet, asshole. I ain't a fan of the guy, but those punks are going too far. Wouldn't be... Wouldn't look good for Irihan if his boss got the stopping beat out of him either. Ugh, better step in. Playtime's over, kids. Huh? Who the hell are you? It's you. Just cause Young doesn't give you a free reign on the streets. Back in my day, the Yakuza would be the ones teaching you that lesson. <laughs> like I give a shit, meathead. Times change. Get used to it. Guess nobody ever taught you the food chain in this town. The boss is king. Under him's the soldiers. Neath them's the citizens and hooligans. You're the bottom of the damn heap. Spare us the lecture, Gramps, and hey, try not to break a hip while we kick your ass. I mean, that should be enough to send them to the hospital, but nope, they're still fine. <laughs> what the shit? Who are you, man? Nobody worth caring about, but if you want to get strong like me, there ain't no better than a nice long trip to the slammer. You could use the discipline. The slammer? You mean prison? Look, just scram, kid. You don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> sir, yes sir. Come on boys, let's roll. You should be ashamed letting yourself get run down by those punks. Spare me the lecture, man. The days of Yakuza muscling around guys are long over. It's all about brains now. You're missing the point. Brawn or brains ain't what's important. It's respect. The whole damn thing goes down the drain once people start disrespecting you. <laughs> Say all you want, but whose money does the family run on? Mine. I'm not one of those fools blinded by strength. 
Who are you talking about? Those thugs from before, you, especially Eerie. Street fights won't keep the lights on, or the water running, or the rent paid. You got it all backwards. Huh? A Yakuza who can't defend his family ain't nothing more than dead weight. Come again? Money's important, yeah, but while you're busy pouring over spreadsheets, the muscles out there keeping your office safe. Don't you get it? A Yakuza too weak to protect his own ain't no better than those bottom feeding thugs from earlier. Hell, maybe even worse. Nah. And Eerie Han? That's exactly the kind of guy a Yakuza should strive to be. Throwing money around is fine and all, but if you really want to make it in this world, you gotta respect the people keeping it safe. You must have realized that, right? All I ever wanted was to feel strong, and bossing around those who were... was the only way I could do it. But you reminded me of something. How I felt when I first met Eerie. And how's that? He was incredible. I've never seen someone that strong before, and yet there I was, humiliating him in public. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. Be better. Now how about you go give Eerie Han a hand collecting that tribute money? Oh. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. Eerie, I can only hope he doesn't turn me down after what I did to him. He ain't that thick skulled. Besides, you're his boss. Just keep your chin up, you'll be fine. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thank you again for everything. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, today was gonna be a short on on Yakuza. Just did a bit of side quests and That'll do. But I uh yeah, I need to stop for today. But we will continue this during the week and now that Live Alive is done, uh, we'll get more time on this, so yeah. Progression will happen this week.